Project 1794. Does that ring a bell? This project is from the early 50s by the United States Air Force and Avro Aircraft. It used to be secret, but by now the information has been declassified. Yes, really, a flying saucer. This was serious research about how to build a real flying saucer. Not a UFO, of course, but disc shaped aircraft called Silverbug Y2 and the prototype PV704. They were designed to be VTOL, vertical takeoff and landing, fly supersonic and at extremely high altitudes, up to Mach 3 plus and a hundred thousand feet. These packs are not of a jet fighter. When flying this high and fast, think instead of what has been built in the 60s. The Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird. The two original reports can be found at the National Archives. The reports show many technical drawings, photos of the supersonic wind tunnel tests and loads of figures, including the financial cost of this project. In this video I will show all the pages of these two reports. Here starts the first report, the final development summary report from 1956. The main character of this story is John Carver Meadows Frost, a man whose work has been a great inspiration to me, for his many way out there aircraft designs. He for example is also the father of the Avro car. While many say that the Avro car was just a failure, I see it as a fantastic attempt to develop a new way of flying. Remember, this is made with the technology from the 50s. Nowadays, computers can even make a cube fly. But wait, there's something that I just have to add to this video. Silverberg has never flown, right? But is that really so? One of the clearest UFO photos ever made shows a disc-shaped flying something that looks remarkably similar to the designs in Project 1794. These photos were taken by photographer Ed Caffel and reporter João Martins. They spotted this UFO at Barra da Tijuca, Brazil on May the 7th, 1952. So, the UFO photos are from 1952 and these final reports are from 1956 and 1957. Hmm. If any of you happen to go visit Area 51, you may find the Silverberg craft there. Not alien, but still pretty impressive. Please make some good photos, that would be awesome. Anyhow, let's start six Viper jet engines and run the pages.
And here, the second report. Program Planning Report, Project 1794, Extension Program from 1957.
that was the last page and there's nothing more to see. So, see you next time.